there some of you are probably done wrapping your Christmas presents and some of you are probably in the middle of all these gifts to wrap some of you are probably just going over their list on who to give what but have you ever stopped to think about you what gift do you need for Christmas Hey you, if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering what to give yourself this Christmas. Some of us will go through our closets and pantries, house, purse, see what we need. But before you even go through all of those places to look at the things you might need, stop right there and look at yourself from underneath the surface. Close your eyes and just think for a moment, what does your body need? What does your mind need? What does your heart need? You know, we realize that when we're so busy preparing for things, festivities, Christmas presents, and all that stuff, we think in terms of material things, right? What does my partner need? What does my family need? My kids, my friends, what do I need? What am I gonna buy for myself? But our body, our mind, our heart, these are the very important things we need to focus on, whether it's Christmas, especially during Christmas because we can be all so stressed, right? We need to take a break. So here are some tips that we will need as we get ready for the busy holidays. My very first tip is something that I have started to work on myself. When I wake up in the morning, I stay in bed for the next three to five minutes close my eyes and just tell myself today is a new day anything that happened yesterday be it good or bad is done today is promising i have the power to change my life i have the power to make a difference today i'm going to be better than i was yesterday those three to five minutes are going to make such a difference in your day Number two, you don't have to do this every day, but do this at least three times a week. And some of you who follow me probably know what I'm getting at because we can never ignore the value of exercise or doing something physical. Do it three times a week and at every time you can do 15 minutes. Or if you really, really are busy, you're so busy, then five minutes or just one session a day. Turn on your favorite music, watch my video or play your favorite tune upbeat and just spread those arms you know the best way to sweat during the first few minutes is to use your arms you know use your arms not just your legs so yes physical you know why physical activity does not only make my body really healthy it's really good for the mind, I tell you. You're mindful because you're not thinking of your problems, you're not thinking of traffic, you're not thinking of what to eat for lunch. You're just focusing on the music. You actually gave yourself three minutes, five minutes to relax. It's true, I promise, I promise. Last tip, and it's not the least, on top of all the stress going through all the Christmas preparations, is your normal routine if you work if you drive oh it can be stressful like you know you're looking through your purse and then you break a nail you park and you don't know where you parked that's me i can't ever remember where i parked or your appointment has been cancelled and you were looking forward to that you know things like that be very mindful not of those things not of those things because they are beyond your control be very mindful of the way you react to them you can rant, you can vent, whatever. But remember what Oprah taught us and what I've shared with you in some of my videos. 17 seconds is the maximum time you should stay in that negative zone. If you're angry, you're frustrated, you're sad, you're miserable. 17 seconds. Make sure that on the 17th second, you're out of it. You're calm. You're relaxed. You're positive. You're hopeful. You're happy. Maybe not so happy because you're still fuming, but you relax a little bit. I tell you, practice makes perfect. At first, it's not easy because you won't even remember like, oh my gosh, yeah, right. But once you're used to it, you're going to be doing it by habit. And that's my tip 
for this episode. I'm just so happy because Christmas is coming. I do have a lot of gifts to wrap still. But yes, we got this. We got this. If you like this video, don't forget, yes, hit like, share, comment. I love your comments. Those of you who are commenting, um, thank you for the comments. And of course, share this video. Don't forget if somebody needs a little bit of a hype. This video just might be the one they need, right? So subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye for now.